Hi, Linda Kenny here from lindakonline.com. If you're someone who wants to actually learn how to structure a really good webinar, then stay with me because I'm going to share exactly what those things you need to have a good webinar. Welcome back. So have you got a pen and paper ready? Because I'm going to list the structure of a really good webinar. Um, I got this from Ray Higdon, my coach and mentor. And he also includes this in one of his courses, which is presenting for profit. So I know it's a good structure. So get your pen and paper ready and I'll list it as we go along. If you want to read a bit more detail about this or you miss something, you can actually replay the video, obviously. But also, I've written a blog post on this, and I'll list these points in that blog post today. So head over to my blog at lindakonline.com too. So here we go then. So the first thing you need is a big benefit title. You need to actually have a title that's going to attract people to what you're actually going to be talking about on your webinar. So, And it has to be a benefit to them, not to you. So a big benefit title. When you begin the webinar, actually start with having some engagement, ask where people are from, interact with your audience, get people in the mood for listening to you. And always ask an emotional question before you begin your presentation. Ask them how they would feel if they learned ABC, whatever your webinar's about. So ask that emotional question. Then do a little brief bit about who you are and, and why you're there. Not too much or you'll lose people. You can go on too long. Just give a brief description of actually who you are. And then tell the audience exactly what they're going to learn from you in this presentation, but also warn them at this point if you're going to be selling something. So actually say that you've got an upcoming offer to come at the end of the webinar. That re lowers resistance and actually pre-warns people that you are going to actually be offering something for sale, if that's what you're doing on this webinar. And then the cut point comes where you deliver your content and in while you're delivering your content, you can actually still engage with people. And before Q&A, which you need, ask them if they're getting value, get some feedback, see how it's going. And at that point after that, make your offer if you're making an offer and if this is a webinar where you're trying to sell something and then after that you can actually offer any bonuses that you might have and and walk them through the purchase because people need to be told sometimes what to do because they get confused and, and so walk them through and then at the very end have q and a so those are the points. I hope you jotted those down, but you can always re-listen to this video or visit me at my blog at lindakonline.com where I've actually written a blog post on this very subject today. So reach out to lindakonline.com and head over to see how to structure a good webinar. I'll see you in another video.